President Harry S. Truman seized control of America's steel mills to prevent a shutdown by strikers. However, on April 29th, the seizure was ruled unconstitutional by a U.S. District Court. Workers immediately began a strike lasting 53 days, ending it when they received a 16 cent per hour wage increase and additional benefits. April 8, 1913, the 17th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States was ratified requiring direct popular election of U.S. Senators. Previously, they had been chosen by state legislatures. April 8, 1990 Ryan White died at age 18 of complications from AIDS. As a young boy, White, a hemophiliac, contracted the acquired immune deficiency syndrome from a blood transfusion. At age 10, he was banned from school. He then moved with his mother to Cicero, Indiana, where he was accepted by the students. As his plight was publicized, he gained international celebrity status and helped promote understanding of the dreaded disease. April 9th April 9, 1865 After over 500,000 American deaths, the Civil War effectively ended as General Robert E. Lee surrendered to General Ulysses S. Grant in the village of Appomattox Courthouse. The surrender occurred in the home of Wilmer McLean. Terms of the surrender written by General Grant allowed Confederates to keep their horses and return home. Officers were allowed to keep their swords and sidearms. April 9, 1866 Despite a veto by President Andrew Johnson, the Civil Rights Bill of 1866 was passed by Congress granting blacks the rights and privileges of U.S. citizenship. April 10, 1942 During World War II in the Pacific, the Bataan Death March began as American and Filipino prisoners were forced on a six-day march from an airfield on Bataan to a camp near Cabinetuan. Some 76,000 Allied POWs, including 12,000 Americans, were forced to walk 60 miles under a blazing sun without food or water to the POW camp, resulting in over 5,000 American deaths. April 10, 1945 The Nazi concentration camp at Buchenwald was liberated by U.S. troops. Located near Weimar in Germany, Buchenwald was established in July 1937 to hold criminals and was one of the first major concentration camps. It later included Jews and homosexuals and was used as a slave labor center for nearby German companies. Of a total of 238,980 Buchenwald inmates, 56,545 perished. Following its liberation, Supreme Allied Commander General Dwight D. Eisenhower and other top U.S. commanders visited the subcamp at Ordruf. U.S. troops also forced German civilians from nearby towns into the camp to view the carnage. April 10, 1998 Politicians in Northern Ireland reach an agreement aimed at ending 30 years of violence which had claimed over 3,400 lives. Under the agreement, Protestants and Catholics 
assembly, thus ending 26 years of direct rule from London. April 11th. April 11th, 1968. A week after the assassination of Martin Luther King, the Civil Rights Act of 1968 was signed into law by President Lyndon B. Johnson. The law prohibited discrimination in housing, protected civil rights workers, and expanded the rights of Native Americans. April 11, 1970. Apollo 13 was launched from Cape Kennedy at 2.13 p.m. 56 hours into the flight, an oxygen tank exploded in the surface module. Astronaut John L. Swigert saw a warning light that accompanied the bang and said, Houston, we've had a problem here. Swigert, James A. Lovell, and Fred W. Hayes then transferred into the lunar model, module, using it as a lifeboat and began a perilous trip to Earth, returned, splashing down safely on April 17th. April 11, 1983. Harold Washington became the first African American mayor of Chicago, receiving 51% of the vote. Re elected in 1987, he suffered a fatal heart attack at his office seven months later. April 12th. April 12, 1861. The American Civil War began as Confederate troops under the command of General Pierre Beauregard opened fire at 4.30 a.m. on Fort Sumter in Charleston, South Carolina. April 12, 1945 President Franklin D. Roosevelt died suddenly at Warm Springs, Georgia after suffering a cerebral hemorrhage. He had been president since March 4, 1933, elected to four consecutive terms, and had guided America out of the Great Depression and through World War II. April 12, 1961 Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human in space. He traveled aboard the Soviet spacecraft Vostok 1 to an altitude of 187 miles, 301 kilometers, above the Earth and completed a single orbit in a flight lasting 108 minutes. The spectacular Russian success intensified the already ongoing space race between the Russians and Americans. 23 days later, Alan Shepard became the first American in space.
was taken to a nearby house and died the following morning at 7.22 a.m. April 14, 1986 U.S. warplanes on orders from President Ronald Reagan bombed the Libyan cities of Tripoli and Benghazi in retaliation for the April 5th terrorist bombing of the discotheque in West Berlin in which two American soldiers were killed. 